Today in Tracy's Basement, we've got two new statues to show you guys. Welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, today we have two new statues to add to the collection. Super cool! From two fandoms that are more exclusive to each other. We don't really share the fandom, so. Yeah. It's Jason cool. picked up a Dark Souls 2 Ferrum Knight. And since I can't play Dark Souls because I suck and don't know anything about it, I'm going to show you my new Hedwig statue. <laughs> She tried to play Dark Souls. We had that on the channel one time way back in the day. It was hilarious how bad she was. It was good. Yeah. It's a hard game. Come on. It's a hard game. <laughs> it's not, not my the, thing. It's not you're my not thing. Into, if you, you can't do like the precise action games. It is a hard game. <laughs> practice, you get good at though. Once you practice, like if well, when Dark Souls 3 came out, I had played so much Dark Souls from 1 and 2 and Bloodborne that Dark Souls 3 was a walk in the park because I was point. just so used to it. Uh, you know, it all gets better with practice. But anyway, <laughs> this isn't a review on the video game, so let's let's look at yours first. So I will start with my Magical Creatures Hedwig. She is the number one in the line. And these are like a uh, little statue. They, they look like little display pieces, like you almost what you would see in a... Uh, Do you need the shredder? A, I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell that. These stupid boxes with the tabs. Oh yeah, there I hate go. tabs on okay. boxes. Don't don't tab boxes. Come on. Come I got it figured out. Uh, what so. was I saying? In a museum. It looks like something that would almost be in a museum. Yeah, they're nice little display cases. And you showed off the Dementor. The Dementor. Quite a while ago. The Dementor was the first one I wanted because it was, in my opinion, the coolest one. It's a Dementor. It's like the only thing I like about Harry Potter. Super, super, <laughs> super awesome. Um, I'm not there, Harry Potter. there are actually a few in this line that I'm not really a fan of. They just don't really spark my interest the way they're done, but I really, really wanted the Dementor, and I like Hedwig as well. Hedwig is awesome. I'm back on coffee. Steady. He's been drinking his water too. I've been, been drinking good. my water too, He's but good. Yeah, just like three cups of coffee today because I gotta get back into it because I've been falling asleep. So, so they do come in these little kind of glass, well, it was plastic, but it looks like glass little display pieces so they look like they would be like I say in a museum and they have the little background there so you can see the Gryffindor common room is the little background. It's got tie wraps. It's got tie wraps. Every have to have tie wraps. Help me. Help me with the, the tie, tie fighters. So. It's a <laughs> odd little thing to have tie wraps. I, I don't. They always, it, she's not going anywhere. They gotta put them so uh, tight to the figure sometimes eh? Like it's uh, when it's all wrapped up like that you don't gotta worry. I swear to God, they think the toy is going to run away. I know. So they have the case, but you can also display them without the case with just the little stand. And she also comes off, so she can just be on the books like that if you prefer. So the actual little statue, she's on a pile of magical books. She's all white, of course, snowy white owl. She's got the little black speckles. I will say the black speckles are a little haphazard. <laughs> Some of them aren't even black. Some of them are yeah, actually little, like, a little bit of like speckles goldish well. speckles. Actually, I kind of it's, it's pretty cool. But it it from from afar like you, you have to get up close to realize that it, it's kind of haphazard. But it it just kind of looked like they just took a paintbrush and, and flicked it. <laughs> yeah, maybe that maybe that's what they did. Maybe that's how <laughs> it works. But. It does still look awesome. It's a very nice mold with all the nice feathers and everything. Her face is very nice with the beak and the bright eyes. The books look awesome. Oh, cool. It just sits on the books. Yeah, okay, so there. you take it off, you still got a pile of books, and it just kind of hides that book. That's yeah. neat. I like I, that. I, that's I cool. like the way they did that. That's very nice. That's cool. So the, the base has the few more books, and it has the Marauder's Map is underneath there. You can see some of the writing on the top of it. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. And Harry's Wand is sitting there as well. So you have the three options. You can have her just like that. You can have her sitting on the base. Or you can have her with the full little case, so it looks kind of like the museum yeah. piece. I actually really like the display case look on them because it's like it's still it's not like an inbox figure, you know yeah, what I mean? No. Like it's not like the you know you're putting it on your shelf in like a cardboard box uh, and all stuff like people like a lot of people do. It it's actually looks like a museum piece. Yeah, it looks that, like I, you know, I like the aesthetic of it and the little 
clear box on all the sides with the yeah. little background. Almost even, got her name on the almost front even like a, an aquarium, almost. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. But it, it's, it is like a museum piece. I actually dig that, and, and I yeah, so I like the uh, the names on it, and uh, the, the owl actually look it looks really yeah. cool. She looks so. really awesome, and of course, an important part of the books and movies. So very very cool. I'm not a Harry Potter fan, but I appreciate a well made figure. So, I love it. You know, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Do that. I, I think she's beautiful. I know you love Harry Potter. So, Dark Souls. I love Dark Souls. Anyone who knows me knows I absolutely love Dark Souls. I'm obsessed with them. Every now and then, I just plow through the trilogy and Bloodborne, even though Bloodborne is a different style game. Totally so. going to end up picking up the remaster. Obviously, the remaster and I'm going is to coming. lose him for a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, a couple. Well, maybe depends on how many times I go through it because I've just recently played it again on PS3, <laughs> and then I'm going to buy the remaster and play it again on PS4. I am part of the problem. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this is super cool. So this is from Dark Souls 2, uh, which is not my favorite uh, game of the trilogy, but I love them all. Uh, this is the Ferrum Knight. And this is by Van Presto, who makes a lot of the DBZ statues yeah, we collect. A lot of our DBZ uh, statues. They make a lot of anime statues and statues on other things. And we absolutely love Van Presto's stuff. So I was certain I was going to like this. I picked this up just a couple days ago. I it. There we go. I got it. There's a little bit of tape. And then a little popper. <laughs> so, but, uh, no, t- t- no tie wrap stuff. No tie wraps. Oh, I love that's what I love. I love about this Van Presto stuff too. No tie wraps. Um, but I picked this up a couple days ago on a trip down to Sydney uh, at a store called Local NPC, and they had all their statues on sale, twenty five percent off. Yeah. And they had this guy, and they had an Artorius of the Abyss too, which was really really cool looking. But he was a little more expensive, so I. I wasn't supposed to really buy anything big that day. He but himself in just a little bit. Tracy said, <laughs> okay, you can get it after I soaked for about 20 minutes. So I uh, I got him. So this is the Ferrum Knight. Uh, okay, there... Yeah, he's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I this will admit. is one of the cool armor sets in the game. Um, I have a... Ooh, it just pops right on there. I have a large collector's edition statue of this guy that I believe I've showed off on the channel before. I can't quite remember. I don't remember. I know we showed off the Dark Souls I think 3 I showed, guy. I think I showed that, that off video. with yeah, we might, we may have done that. Guys. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, if I can find it, that's an old video. Yeah. Uh, if I can find it, I'll link back to it because that was a long time ago. Um, and this is obviously smaller scale. This is your usual uh, Van Presto size scale. What scale do they usually say these are again? I can't remember. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is that it's super cool. <laughs> so, uh, of course, he's got the green kind of uh, what? Would, what do they call that? Uh, it's tunic. Like, uh, you know what, I'm just going to call it a butt skirt. It's just easier that way. It's, instead of trying to figure out the names here. Somebody will, will help me out. I still remember Pauldrons, thank yeah. to that, thanks to that guy. Somebody always so lets us know what all he'll the... He'll let me go. So, uh, let are. me know what the butt skirt's called. Uh, I like the design on the butt skirt. I'm going to keep saying butt skirt. <laughs> it, it is actually really nice, it is. all the... Uh, little intricate design along yeah, the edges. Very nice, very, a little nice. bit. It's like a uh, very, uh, almost like oriental rug style uh, design on the side. <laughs> He's wearing what? a rug. <laughs> Listen, you're ruining my toy. Sorry. You're just destroying my toy. Sorry. I would rock this butt skirt, okay? <laughs> Is that what you want to hear? If I had access to this butt skirt, I would rock the butt skirt. But my butt skirt... If I had one, would probably just have like Batman on it or something like that. I have a lot of Batmans. Anyway, uh, the helmet, super cool. This, like I said, this is one of the cool armor, coolest armor sets in the game. Uh, it's kind of its standout armor set, I guess you would say, in all the uh, publicity and promotion yeah. for the game when it came out. Uh, this is what you see on yeah. posters and books. That's and why it. Uh, <laughs> that's why the special edition came with uh, a figure of this. There's all kinds of cool armor sets in the game, though. It's got like the fur. Uh, around the shoulders and of course all the belts and the buckles uh, he's holding the little uh, hooks here which I believe is how you hook the shield on because yes. it's got two holes in the back here I just have to figure out uh, how the heck you do this <laughs> so I'll figure that out in a second after I'm done talking about him because I'm probably going to struggle because it's pegs and holes so 
Fangs and holes are just haunt me. Okay? They, they keep coming awesome. back to embarrass me in uh, in videos. Uh, he's got like the little satchel there for uh, all his. No, I'm not saying it because you can call me geek. Because every time I do, you say geek. He's, like he you was, don't play he was these gonna games. Say poultices, weren't Poultice, you? maybe poultices. It's where you know he has to carry several. Word! He has to carry several Estus flasks. <laughs> so, you suck. <laughs> you suck. You know what? I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> nope. Nope. You it's a very nice nope. toy. Turn, turn that way. I'm not talking to you anymore. Uh, the armor, nice and metallic looking. Yep. Stay that way. No, don't look back. You're not allowed. You're not allowed. This is my little statue moment. So, and of course, the big gauntlets on him. Very, very cool. And now, I will cut away to try to figure out how to get this highly decorative shield on there. Turn your head. You're not allowed. <laughs> and the final step. It was a little bit annoying. Uh, I will say that because the it came with the dagger and the sheath for the sword had uh, peg holes that are in the sides, but they're under his hands. Yeah. And his hands are, <laughs> he's don't articulate. Well. He's, a, he's a vinyl statue, right? So uh, you kind of had to really squeeze in there and wiggle it and, and get them in. So that was a little annoying. But that is a tiny little nitpick, because once you get it in there, who cares? Yeah, <laughs> right? It's, it's take part it of the thing. <laughs> and uh, the, the shield, I showed that little round part of the shield, that actually twists in his hand. Because it was like, what the heck? It was pointed yeah, it was down. Pointing straight down. Like, How is, so. You're supposed to get the shield on that, but it does turn up. And then you just press this on the two pegs that are sticking out of his hand on the handle. And look at that. Look at that. That is pretty that cool. That looks freaking badass right there like look how cool that looks the shield is awesome the shield, the shield. is very very intricate. yeah very highly uh decorated and that and like i said the armor has lots of detail too Ban presto doesn't make bad stuff uh all their their statues and figures of this scale they all look good yeah uh, like i said that that's care. why they we put keep, all the little yeah, details in. that's why we keep buying uh dragon ball ones and they make they make ones of lots of different lines too uh, in this style especially uh if you're into different anime like anime that we're not into like like one piece and stuff like that they yeah, do lots they of one do piece lots of stuff. That stuff so uh i uh, i'm a big fan of ban presto's uh little line here of pre-painted figures this is the dxf line if you want to know which specific line this one was a part of which we have lots of dxf figures too <laughs> so so yeah i like it i'm impressed very cool i think it's cool nice base on it too so we so. have the awesome ferrum knight from dark souls 2 and hedwig from the magical creatures line of harry mm -hmm. potter figures these two are very, very awesome. You guys let us know in the comments section below what you thought of these two fig two statues. What do you think of Statue them? Statue figures. <laughs> let us know in the comments section Statue below. Figures. Let us know if you've played Dark Souls. Let us know if you love Harry Potter. Vinyl statue. I don't even know if that guy's vinyl. Yeah, he's vinyl. He's totally vinyl. Talk, talk to us in the comments section below, you guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Perfect time for the Dark Souls remake to come out, too. But this is Dark Souls 2, so... But I'm going to play them all again when the remake remaster comes out. So, And then they're going to remaster the rest of them, and they're going to put them all in the bundle, and I'm going to buy it again. So, that's what I do. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement, Jason from DB on Twitter. You're supposed to be looking that way. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye.